Chit-Chat Cadillac. Eleven so much, you're a winding back. It's Ruse Chit-Chat Cadillac. They're doing some prog and having a chat. It's Ruse Chit-Chat Cadillac. Yes, and it's starting right now. Hello, 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 is this thing on? Uh, welcome to Ruse Chit-Chat Cadillac with your host, Ruha Walla. baby and here we are today with two of the hottest improvisers currently roaming around Sibtown. we have ruby blinkhorn ciao <laughs> and kate wilkins hey otherwise known as pure comedy by father john misty hence the episode title <laughs> straight off the back of some fantastic improv glory we are the freshest winners of the improv theater city smackdown as well as the improv comedy cage fight yeah hey. baby how does it feel to be so hot right now um <laughs> stressful stressful <laughs> the phone is always ringing it's okay you know it's, it's but it is a lot of pressure mm, well that sounds pretty hot shall we jump straight into some improv we'd love to yes all right stewie can we have a word of suggestion please your word is Whip. 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 Darling, I've just made a fresh batch of whipped cream. I think it's just... I'm sorry. I, I think it's just... Whip, what are you saying? Whipped. Whipped cream. Ooh. Whip, whipped cream? Whipped cream. What? Mummy. Oh, not... Daddy. Not, yes. I'm so sorry. I've wet the bed. <gasps> Oh, poor little Queenie has wet the bed. I've wet the bed. Okay, Mommy. stop, stop, both of you. What this is ridiculous. wrong, darling? We watch, we watch one episode of Downton Abbey, and now we're all suddenly. No, no. Why? Whoops! Said that you had to be so. No, I've forgotten the word, Daddy. Withholding. Is yes. That the word you're looking that's for, it, Queenie? That's it, Mummy. That's it. Yes. Thank you, Mummy. Whom said? Tell us. You're a wretched man, Daddy. Guys, this isn't funny. This isn't fair. You know, I'm a good person. Just because I don't like to do silly little voices doesn't mean that my opinion isn't valid and I'm not a fun parent and person to be with. We're oh. just wondering why, why you can't join in the fun because sometimes. Because the last time we did this, it was after we watched Pingu and you didn't even speak. You just made little toot toot noises all day. And I had no idea what you were asking for. And I had no idea what you wanted from me. Oh. And it drove me insane. Oh, daddy, you don't mean that. Oh. <laughs> and see. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> Loves it. Loves <laughs> it. All right, let's have a little chit chat. A little chat. Yay. Gorgeous. Tell me a little bit about how you came upon improv. I first started watching improv when I was like 10 years old. My primary school friend, Claudia, her mum was like a homeschooling mum who was like really hands on. And she was like, Kate would really thrive making some stuff up on the spot. And then we would go to the Edmore Theatre and we would watch like celebrity theatre sports and like schools comp. What a sweet angel your friend's mum was. Mm. She hit yeah. the nail on the head. Shout out Yvette. Hey, thanks. Are you still in touch? Thanks. Kind of. Has she seen you in celebrity theatre sports now? I actually think she might have come when we did it. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that cute? <laughs> That's really cute. That. Yeah. That's so adorable. It's actually really, really cute. Yeah. I, I'm lucky to have known that it existed for so long. And Ruby, tell us how you got into improv. I started doing improv in high school. And then I think I had like a couple pretty full on bombs um, at Theatre Sports Schools Challenge. And then did it yeah. for like five years. Oh, see, I didn't take that hint. <laughs> you just kept pushing. <laughs> I just kept going. I kept going. But every year I'd be like, this is our... It was like our birthday, you know? It's like the big day of the year where you finally like... And then you just end up crying you on your birthday. Absolutely cry on your birthday. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's really sad. But then, yeah, at, at uni, I don't know how I got back into it, but somehow it, it, it gets its claws into you. Can you share with us your biggest bomb? I have a bomb that I don't remember that well because I actually have tried to block it out of my mind. It's giving Oppenheimer. <laughs> this was my Oppenheimer. Um, it was a Cranston car. No, I was there. Yeah, you were there. <laughs> Kate, Kate, and Kate did not bomb. Um, we're, on, we're on separate teams. But we had a really intense costume. We were like, we're the Pash Rats. And we come out and be like, nah, 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 like do this whole bit. <laughs> 
And the, we, the minute we came out and did this bit, we didn't really get anything. Uh-huh. And I was like, we've hinged quite a lot on that being funny. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think mm-hmm. that's landed. This is the end more theater. Yeah. And it's full. It was um, pit drop. You could hear a pit drop. <laughs> it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we did, but we but did it was scenes. really funny. Like we, it was like. We just like every scene we did. It was like the dream where someone like goes to school and they don't have pants on. Well, you didn't have pants on. <laughs> I didn't have pants on. Because they wore bodysuits. Like leotards. Oh, leotards. Yeah. So yeah. much commitment as well. I, I feel like when you when you're like, okay, we're giving it yeah, ten out of I ten, know. they're gonna love they're it. They're gonna love it. Like oh, my no, ass yeah. is out at the end more, yeah. and not one yeah, chuckle. Yeah, but that's because your ass is serious business. You know that's okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> they thought it was a serious performance. I like to say like <laughs> I just looked I too you, damn hot. No, you were you were being serious though. You were pushing us. the rock up the hill, and you really wanted it. And I think yeah. everyone really wanted it that year. That's true. Such relatable content. And what about you, Kate? What was your biggest bomb? I did class clowns in high school and I got into the grand final at Melbourne Comedy Festival and Reese Nicholson was on the judging panel with some other comedian. They like flew me to Melbourne. My parents were like, she's doing it. She's 17 and she's already like become like Australia's Kate Wilkins. My whole family was like, yes, queen, pop off. And all of my jokes were about being like a woman in comedy because all of the heats that I did in Parramatta at Riverside Theatre well, they're just like me and a bunch of boys. Um, and so they killed because all the parents were like, oh, she's funny for a girl. And then I go to like the national grand final and there's like, all, they're all girls because they're like pushing feminism. And they were like, don't change your set at all um, <laughs> based on what won the heat for you. Like just don't change it at all because you really want to just be consistent. And I just don't think they wanted That's teenagers going advice. crazy. And it just like didn't land because everyone was like, what do you mean like it's hard being a woman in comedy? Like everyone is a woman in comedy at this whole thing right now. Like uh, all of and the other all people. Killing and it. Yeah, and then it, but there was like two guys and one of the guys won. So oh. <laughs> I rest my case. So, really so then I rest all my of case. the set really came bummed. back into... Totally. Damn. 100%. Okay, so in the scenario when we bomb, yeah. what is the best thing to do next? Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your head with a paper bag. Um, it depends how long you're on for. Yeah. Like sometimes I've Whoa. been bombing and I've been conscious that I'm like, where maybe a fifth of the way in <laughs> make eye contact with the other improvisers on stage make eye contact with them mm. and go we are on a sinking ship if you're not going for laughs you're going for it damn respect they stayed up there yeah i agree i like a bomb with dignity like what one of my one of my least favorite things is when someone bombs and they start like blaming the audience <gasps> oh so same bad. then the audience goes well now i really don't want you to succeed <laughs> yeah and yeah. my extra pet peeve on that is when they start attacking the audience's intelligence it's like no no we understand the content mm, of what you're funny, saying we got it we don't think it's funny yeah. yeah you always assume when you're bombing like they hate yeah. you yeah and it's like yeah. they don't hate you yeah. no they're, they're gonna just don't, forget they just don't care about you they just yeah. don't care yeah. they're neutral they don't care. and they yeah. literally will forget and yeah. like the same way that you're like you have these like little rocks in your chest where you're like, I remember the day. Catastrophic disasters happen in the world and people forget about them. It's like no one's going to remember. No <laughs> that is such a good no point. No one is going to remember it's that not you that came in and said, no, I'm not a shark when someone endowed you. <laughs> 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 in early March 2018 at Manning Bar. Yes. No one will remember. Totally. Thank you so much for joining me. It's so nice to have your beautiful, wonderful, bright energies in the room today. Thank you for having us. Finish off with a little second beat of improv. Gorgeous. Let's see if that family has unwhipped themselves. Dad, do you never play games with me anymore? Do you know why I never play games? Why? Not you two, okay? I never play games because if you have two fun parents, you don't get anything done. You need one fun parent, one silly parent. I mean, (laughs) see, this is what happens. No, no. Fun and silly. We can make do with you, that you get in my head you get in my head and you ruin the order daddy, and before you know daddy, it you're doing a silly voice you're doing a silly voice daddy oh, i think no. it's infectious oh you're so silly daddy oh, what what's happened? what's happened to me oh, what oh, a well. silly daddy well i guess i am a silly daddy well one of us needs to be practical oh, son what's happened i thought we were we were having fun 
I've never been more disappointed in my parents in my life. What? I entrusted you with a duty of care that included a practical, well-rounded upbringing. What are you doing with the car keys? <laughs> he went. He went. He crashed the Winnebago. He cra- crashed the Winnebago and hurt himself. Why? 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 I want to be cremated. And see. <laughs> I couldn't eat them for anything. I want to be cremated. I loved it. That's hilarious.